All right, everybody. I uh, I saw on the news, I was reading that Yellow had gone out of business. And uh, I didn't think anything of it because I don't know anything about Yellow. And then I found out a little while ago that Yellow is Schwann's. Do you remember Schwann's? I think part of the reason why Yellow went out of business is because no one understood the brand. Why did they change? And in my business, um, it's a very interesting thing with, uh, with brands. When I started the brokerage, Deerwood Realty, I wanted to, to promote Deerwood Realty all the time, right? Because I was going to have all these agents and we were going to, we were going to be Deerwood Realty and we're going to go against like the established brands in, in real estate brokerage and residential real estate. And I quickly found out that that wasn't going to work unless you have billions of dollars, your brand isn't going to carry you. People invest in other people. And so at that point, I started running everything, you know, on the agent side is, you know, John Schenck. If you're working with Deerwood Realty, you're working with John Schenck. And I just, I mean, the idea that a company would be going for 80 some odd years under the Schwann's name and then changed to Yellow in 2022. And no one had any idea who Yellow was. And in reading the press releases at the time, they were saying that they were using the Yellow name for to, to, to highlight their truck color. It, it, it has to be when you go to business school, it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna be studied forever. How Schwann's could just absolutely screw something up so badly. Um, colossal mistake. Now, I feel bad for the employees. I feel bad for the uh, the people that are going to be laid off and no longer have a job. It's terrible. But at the same time, this this idea of corporate rebranding, if something's not broke, you know, don't fix it. I mean, this was dumb. This was colossally dumb. Uh, and on a side note, you're never going to see me change the brokerage. It's always going to be Deerwood Realty. Uh, my my brokerage, the name of my brokerage is the street that I uh, started the business on. So it's not like it's not like I have any interest in changing it. Um, but when you're working with and this and this is true across the board. Look, when you're doing a real estate transaction, when you're buying a house, when you're selling a house, you're working with someone. There's a person there. There's a person in front of you that has a name, uh, maybe a relative, maybe a friend, maybe a family member, um, but. You know, maybe somebody found it on the internet. It's, but it's it's going to be a person, and um, that's why I've always been kind of suspect about you know these people. If agents feel like they need a brand behind them, uh, it shows to me a little bit of uh, insecurity, if you will. Why do you need a brand behind you to to sell real estate? Can't you just do it on your own? What does the brand do for you? You should think about that when you're moving around thinking about jumping ship. What is the brand doing for you specifically? Maybe it's hurting you. I know certain brands here in St. Louis where like if you say you're from there, it's like, eh, don't want to deal with that person. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. The bird has been really, really noisy and my wife has somehow left the cover so where I can't find it. So that's what we're dealing with now. Um, hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.